Hello Divination and welcome to our brand new mini series on how to create a simple and effective portfolio website using Divi. In this mini series we'll be covering everything that you need to know in order for you to create your own portfolio website from scratch. The goal of our mini series is to provide you with tips and techniques to help you enhance your design skills with Divi. In this video, I'm going to show you step by step how to install our free, great, ready to go layouts. These layouts give you a jumpstart in deciding which layouts work best for displaying your work. Thanks to Nathan B. Weller, our content manager here at Elegant Themes, for putting together these designs for us. Okay, so the link to download these layouts is provided in the show notes below. So once you click the link, it takes you to this page. And when you get to this page, all you have to do is to scroll down until you get this opt-in box. Now, if you're already a subscriber, no problem. All you have to do is to enter your email address. So I'm just going to enter my email here. And then when you click download, you are provided with a link which allows you to download the layout pack. So all you have to do is to click the download link. So once the download is complete, what you need to do next is to go to your downloads folder and uncompress that download. So I've already gone ahead and uncompressed it. So now let me show you how to install these layout designs. So what you need to do now is to go to Divi, Divi library, and then click on import and export. Click on import and then choose file. Okay, so now you need to go into your folder where you downloaded those designs. So here I'm gonna to go to my downloads folder and we can see here that this is the uncompressed version. So I'm just gonna open that and then I'm going to scroll to these JSON files. So here you can see you have project three, project two, and project one. So you can either install one by one, and that means if you are going to decide which one to use, you have to keep going back here and do this process again until you choose the one that you like. But in my case, I'm going to choose the option which installs all three of them. So by doing that, it just makes it easier for me to decide which one without going back to install them. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna click on uh, the all projects layouts.json. So I'm going to click and then click open. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead now and import Divi Builder layouts. So once these are imported, they're going to be in our library. Okay, and now you can see these are the layouts, all three of them. So what you then need to do now is to apply these layouts to one of your pages. Now, let me show you how to do that. So I'm going to come here to pages and then click on add new. So let's call this page project two. I'm going to click on use the Divi builder. So now to install these layouts that we've just installed, what you need to do is to go to load from library, add from library. Okay. And these are the three layouts. So in my example, I'm going to use project layout two. So I'm going to click on load. This is the layout, okay? So I'm going to go ahead now and click on publish. Now let's do a quick preview and see what this page looks like. Okay, so this is the page. The header image here is actually missing. So let me show you how to add that image. So, and again, this image is also provided in the pack that we downloaded. So I'm going to go ahead and click on enable visual builder. And then here I'm going to click the gear icon to go into the settings and then click on upload. Okay, so now we need to add that image. So to add the image, I'm going to click on upload files, select files. And then here you can see this is the folder that we downloaded. It also has another folder called featured images. So we just need to collapse that and then choose the image that goes with this layout. So I'm going to click on open. And then I'm going to click on upload an image. So that's the image that's been applied now. I'm going to go ahead and save. And then now finally, I'm going to add some padding onto this image so we can see more of it like that. And then we're also going to add a bit of padding onto um, this section. So we have a bit of breathing space between the title and the image. Okay, so that should do. So once we're done with that, we're going to go ahead and save by pressing Command S or Control S on PC. 
Okay, so now that everything is saved, I'm going to go ahead and exit the Visual Builder. And this is our final design. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. We will be producing more and more of these videos. Be sure to subscribe because by subscribing, you will be notified when we produce more videos. Until next time, thanks for watching and see you soon.